prices are already up. You talked about rising prices, Joe. Well, prices are already up. A lot of it's just due to natural demand. A lot of us are driving more. And the switch to the summer driving blends, where they drain the tanks and fill them up. We're also seeing a big knock-on effect, though, of course, from the colonial shutdown and some regional shortages of gas. Regional shortages, okay? Not panic, regional shortages. Per gas, buddy, 16% of all North Carolina gas stations are out of some kind of gas. Maybe it's 93, maybe it's 91 octane, maybe it's all the above. About 10% for Virginia, South Carolina, you can see the numbers, all this coming from gas buddies. So if you are hoping for immediate relief once the pipeline comes back online, you may have to wait a little bit longer than the next day, including, as you said, Joe, maybe up to more than a week for things to get back to normal because of kind of the backlog, the inchworm effect from all the knock-on effects. All right, so when exactly might the Colonial Pipeline be turned back on? It's the question we all want to know. We don't know. We're not sure. But according to Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm, yesterday, the Colonial is expected to come out with some kind of a decision on fully resuming operations by the end of the day today. Not that they resume operations by end of the day, Joe, but that they should say when they plan to resume operations by the end of the day today. But remember, they said this, I think it was Monday noon. It's now Wednesday morning. We're not much further along. It's been hard to get information. A lot of calls and emails, of course, uh, to the company there. So no real information, but it's going to take some time once they even open it back up for everything to kind of work itself out. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.